Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and Atua. In this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily edit your own photos from the very start to the very end, including skin retouching and color grading from the very start to the very end. So, you're going to be using this very image for this kind of tutorial. And if at all you're watching and haven't hit the like button, I request that you hit the like button because it helps you to push and recommend this channel to many people out there. So, simply hit the like button on this video so in order to import an image in photoshop or the raw file into photoshop simply right click on the image and simply come to edit with i'm just going to select photoshop and it's going to open up the raw image in my photoshop so i don't know why my file looks damaged so i'm just going to cancel that so i'll just choose another image instead so right click and come to open with then I'll just come to Photoshop. So this is the image that we're going to be color grading in this very tutorial. And right now I'm using Camera Raw 16.5. So the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to editing raw images in Photoshop is first of all correcting the lighting and contrast issues. So I'll just come to the highlights and I'll just drop the highlights down. I'll do the same for the whites just like that. And I'll open up my shadows. I think that is okay. I add contrast. So after adding contrast, the next thing is going to be taking the blacks down slightly. So I'll just take the blacks down. I think that is okay. Now just brighten up the image slightly. I think that is okay. So I said before, after, so far. And the next thing after doing that, I'll simply come all the way down to my color option right here. I'll slightly warm up this image to around 6200 Kelvins. So after doing that, I'll just play around with the background because as you know my images, I tend to lean more on that kind of bluish side or the aqua side of the green. So I'll just come to my hues right here. And you can see when you're playing around with the hues, a hue is when you're changing a given color. So if at all you want to play around with the greens, you can either make the greens towards the aquas or you can make the greens more like the yellows. Saturation is the intensity of a given color. Luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color. So I'll just come back and I'll turn the blues, the greens towards the aquas. And I'll do the same for the yellows. And that is going to make the greens pop in the background. But it's going to make them look a little bit oversaturated. So I'll just come to the saturation and simply take down the saturation of the greens. And take down the saturation of the yellows just by a tiny bit. Then I want this outfit to pop a little bit more. So I'll just come to the saturation of uh, the blues and see where it lands. So I'm just going to take it around 50, 55. Then I'll just slightly change the hues of that outfit just a tiny bit to around. I think that is okay. So this is the before and after. And you can see now the image is popping. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're just going to simply come and open the image into Photoshop for us to do the final adjustment. So I'll just come and open the image in Photoshop and it is going to be loaded right or straight into Photoshop. So the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to Photoshop work is simply first of all cropping the image. So I'll just come right here and I'll crop the image in a ratio of 45. So get the crop tool and I'll crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. And I think right there it is okay and I'll simply just come and hit enter on the keyboard to approve my crop settings. So we are going to do skin retouching first. So in order to retouch this image, I'll just come to the background and, and simply press Ctrl J. Or you can use Command J on the keyboard. So I'll just come right here and press Ctrl J twice to create those two layers. Then double click on this layer, I'll just name it to low frequency. And the up layer is going to be a high frequency. So in this, we're going to be doing skin retouching using frequency separation. So we're going to slightly hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer. Then you're going to come right here to filter and come to blur and come down to Gaussian blur. 
So just want to blur the details from the skin. So I'm just going to take the radius down and look for an area on the skin that has more textures. Then start taking up the radius of by clicking and dragging up the radius. So I'm just going to take it up just like that until when I'm just starting to close out on the details. So for such images, I tend to use a radius of 4. I think 4 looks great and I'll hit OK. Then select the high frequency layer and now activate it. And I'll just come right here to image and I'll come to apply image right here. <coughs> Sorry. So when I come to apply image, I'll just come and select the low frequency layer with a blend mode of add. Then opacity at 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale has to be 2 and offset 0 because we are working with a 16-bit image. So if I told you are dealing with an 8-bit image, just come and use subtract. The scale has to be 2, type in 2 and offset 128 and you'll have the set the textures on this gray layer but for my case it is a 16-bit image the scale has to be to offset 0 and turn on the invert option and hit ok so i just come and change it from normal to linear light so after creating these two layers for frequency separation select both layers by holding down control or you can hold down command and drag them into the group so we're now going to hide the high frequency layer now turn on the low frequency layer we are going to come to the brushes and get the mixer brush tool and just come and make sure it is set. So hardness at zero, make sure you select clean brush and the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected. With the weight of 9%, load 75%, mix at 90, float 100%, make sure sample orders is not turned on. We are, are now going to start working on the skin by painting using the mixer brush tool. How to paint when you're using the mixer brush tool? You're first of all going to work on the face of the model so how to use this simply left click and hold down and you blend a given color remember we have selected the low frequency layer or we have selected the color layer so use a small brush and to increase or decrease on the size of the brush you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard and that is going to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool and if at all the brush is showing a plus icon, make sure you press the caps lock key on the keyboard to have it display this circular icon like I am having right here. So mix the colors on the skin and blend or make sure that you are having that nice and smooth blend within the skin tones. So I'll increase on the size and work on the neck area just like that work on the chest blend those colors or skin tones and try to harmonize them so blend that area release if at all you're blending a new area so you left click and hold down and paint and release if at all you're working on an area with a slightly different color so i'm going to mix those areas this highlight alone just like that and come to this other side of the hand so the way I'm mixing, I'm not zooming all the way in. I'm working on the image from a distance or at a distance. So take your time as you're trying to blend the transitions between the skin tones because you don't want to mess up your images or your photos. So I think this is okay. I'll blend under the armpit. And by just doing that, you can see what we have right now. So just come to the other areas like the legs or the thighs and blend those areas. So I'll just do a quick one right there. Mix these shadows right there alone. Mix this highlight. And while they're transitioning from one color to another, I'll just come and mix or blend those areas. So I think we are almost done using the Mr. Brush tool to blend or even out the skin tones. So just come back and turn on the texture layer and you can, so when you turn it on, this is what we have the before, after, before, after. The image looks better than it was initially. So select the high frequency layer and now come and get the clone stamp tool. You can now zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard and remove the pimples or blemishes. So I'll hold down the option key on the keyboard to sample. Make sure the opacity in the flow is 100%. Align the selected and sample is current layer. 
hold down the option key on the keyboard to copy clean skin so hold it down and left click to copy and release the alternate key on the keyboard or the option key and simply left click over the blemish to replace it with clean skin so we are basically stamping clean skin over the pimples or blemishes on the model skin so just take your time as you're doing this because it is going to change your images and make them look way better so i think uh, that is okay and this looks great so right now we're just going to close the frequency separation group and this is the before after before after so let's first of all create a uniform skin tone for uh, this model so we're just going to come to our gradients right here and select the gradient map tool and select the gradient icon right here and hide this layer by turning it off then left click on the color option make sure the sample size is set to 5 by 5 average right here and sample is set to all layers so left click on this pointer right here and left click on the color option zoom into the image and we just want to sample the darkest point of the skin of this model so i'll just choose this as my darkest point of the skin i'll just choose another dark area of the skin i think that is okay and i'll hit okay and i'll just click on the, the right pointer and left click on the color option choose the brightest point of the skin tone so i'll just choose that as the brightest point of the skin tone hit okay then you're going to click in the middle and type the location to 50 and by just doing that click on the color option and choose what you feel should be the mid tones of uh, the skin tone so I'll just choose an area i feel should represent the mid tones for this model skin hit ok and now just come back right here and hit ok we are now going to come and activate the overall layer and change the blend mode from normal to color and after doing that we're just going to select this layer mask right here and press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can press command i we are now going to come and so if at all you have a couple of images from the same shoot before painting simply drag this layer and drop it over the images that you want to work on so after getting the brush tool the normal brush tool this time around make sure the hardness is set to zero the mode is normal past and flat hundred percent and after doing that make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches to reset press d on the keyboard or simply left click on these tiny boxes make sure white is the foreground color and we just want to come and start painting on the skin so we are now going to paint on the skin so take your time as you're trying to do this because you don't want to mess up and you don't want to make a rough job as you're trying to even out or create evenness within the skin tone so i'm just going to do a very quick job right here but you always have to be careful and take your time as you're trying to do or to go through this very step so just take your time as you're trying to so avoid the eyes you can even avoid the eyebrows and the lipstick make sure you only paint on the skin so i'll just do a very quick job right here and by just doing that you can see now the skin looks nice and even so I'll just come to the lower part of the body and also even out the skin tones just like that so i just zoom in so if i told you make a mistake there is a way you can rub so switch the brush back to black and you can reduce on the size and just come and erase the effect from the areas you did not want paint in the first place so after painting on the skin if at all the effect is too much you can always come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity of uh, the color grading effect so about that that's okay before after before after the skin is now looking nice and uniform so we are going to come and create a black and white adjustment layer right here and come and change it from normal to multiply come and reduce on the opacity just like that to slightly add contrast to the skin then we're also going to come to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and come and select the reds come to where you see lightness and simply drop down the lightness to slightly reduce on the saturation within the skin of the model 
Then one final adjustment is going to be selective color. Come and select the blacks and simply intensify the blacks just like that slightly. And you're going to cool down the blacks just like that. And you're going to play around with the science to see what works best for us. I think that is okay. And this is what we have right now. So this is what we have been able to do in Photoshop. So this is the before, after, before, after. So after editing, the next thing is going to be saving the image so it doesn't change in color when you post it on social media. So in order to save the image, simply come right here to File and come to Export and come to Export As. So when you come to Export As, it's going to open up the Export As window. Make sure the quality is set to JPEG and quality is set to the maximum. Make sure you check the two options that is Embed Color Profile and Convert to sRGB and simply export. So this is how you can easily edit an image in Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.